Yes, so I have also bath the brown shoes and they look quite shiny. Yeah, they are okay so now I'm to the liquid polish so this is a black liquid polish and I'm going to so what you can do is when you wear your shoes and then you come back and you need a quick shine um, these will give you an instant shine so it says um instant shine and i find they work good for natural leather shoes so not um shoes that are not made of leather like the synthetic leather shoes but natural leather they work well so i'm going to go over the 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 sole and then the heel of the shoe and i don't know maybe i'll work on the sole proper So yeah, here we go. So after you have used your wax polish and then you have shined and everything, when you use the liquid polish over the shoe, it gives it um, a really nice gloss in addition. So all you need to do is to press the sponge, the foam, on this part, or the sponge the foam. Just press, and then when you press, the some of the liquid would come out through the foam, and you just gently rub all over the shoe. And so this is an easy way to um, to get your shoe shining nicely. Um, these wax polishes are, I think, a maximum 10 CDs on the market. Well, it depends on the brand you are getting. Um, I've seen other brands, but these two, the Palk and then the Wild Wolf, I have tried and I use. I have tried, I think, Kiwi also. Kiwi is also very fine. It gives a very nice polish, a nice effect too there's also silver so you probably can just explore and then find out which works for you and which you'd go for it might also be what is available but i've also used some that are just like they're like water these ones um according to my research and what's at the company says they are infused with waxes so the pulp i know from what i've read is they are infused with waxes and that's what um, gets the shine on the shoe so these are what the wax polishes do so i have gone over this one and i've tried to get um, the strokes in one direction so that i do not have um, when they when it dries off i'll have a nice um sheen or a nice shine on the shoes i'm going to set these ones down and then do the second one here we are so they're already shining if you don't mind you can just leave them like this but and uh, this buyer wants some extra shine and so i'm going to do this and i feel this is easier and faster than um than the mirror shining the mirror shining is using waxes and um, the cotton a soft cotton cloth or yeah, soft cotton cloth and then also using the wax polish so like the kiwi they are also other um, more expensive and higher grade but um, in ghana and most part of africa the brand we know and we run to is kiwi and um, that's also really a, an easily um, findable <laughs> it's easy to find on the market easily available you can buy at any corner shop, any probably filling station, any of the supermarkets or 
I've seen some in the malls. Uh, they have the um, Marina Mall. I know, for example, have a a whole like rack or shelf for shoe care items. So one day I'll show you what they have. They have shoe creams and things like that. And so, yes, I think we are done giving this. A coat, a nice coat. I'm squeezing so I can get into the corners, which I'm um, under the saddle. I said this part of the shoe is called the saddle, so I'm trying to get the shoes. I'm putting some of the polish into the insole, trying to clean that out. Yeah, so I think we will set this aside now and then go on to the brown. So, for the one we are using PALC, the PALC liquid polish. Um, I don't know about shaking, but just safer shaking before we start application. And with the PALC, same thing, there's a sponge or foam at the end. So you press, squeeze a bit not If you squeeze too much, you're going to spill all the old polish. And in fact, before I start with the brown, the soles of the shoes are black, so let me just use the black. Since I used it, I still have some liquid polish in the sponge or the foam. So I'm just going to gently go over so that we have the nice solid black. So also looking as nice as the upper when we are done. So over the sole and heel for this one I'll do same for this so go and try not to let it touch the brown if you're not if the shoes are not, are not black and they're a different color and the soles are if the soles of the shoe are a different color from the upper so this is the upper the leather part of the shoe that goes over your foot that's the upper try not to get um yeah, try not to get the wax, the, sorry, the liquid polish on there. And because these are new, I didn't use the waxes on this part of the shoe. And so I'm done with the soles and I'll proceed as I was doing with the upper. So, when you press, it becomes foamy too. And I do not like working with the foam. Oops. I'm getting some on the I'm getting some of the liquid polish on the sole. And so um yeah we have it. So this seems like it's a little too much. And so I'll just have to rub all over. It's foaming though, but I'll still go ahead and wrap all over the shoe. And when I have wrapped all over, I'll set it aside and go over and wrap the foam and spread the foam so it doesn't leave um, a thick residue on the le on the leather. So. Oh. I don't like it when it foams, but this is the pulp does that a lot. It foams up, and I have to spend a lot more time spreading the foam. So, if you have a brush, you can use the brush to further spread. But I like the foam because it's soft and gentle and spreads the polish nicely okay so here we have it out clean up with a small brush into the corners shortly so 
this is what i like so just squeeze when the liquid comes just rub over so i do not have any any foaming unfortunately i got the foaming today so i guess i have to just go on and polish yeah so liquid polishes this is how they work this is how to apply them and our advice if your shoes are dirty or dusty you can use a wet cotton cloth or rag and then you can just wipe them off nicely just wipe the shoes and get the dust off the shoes nicely when you have gotten the dust off just set the shoe so the if there's some of the water from the leather from the rag um, on there you could just um, let all the water evaporate and I mean when the shoes are dust free and clean just go over them with your liquid polishes and it'll give you a nice polish and shine like these ones they are not dye so they do not stain like a dye wood but they like I said they work nicely so the foam here has dried a bit and I have some of the um, the foam in the corners of the shoes I don't want it to dry and then remain there so i'm going to get a small brush and then i'll come clean that okay so i have picked up my brush and i'm just going to run the brush through the corners of the sole i could actually um if you could get a bowl or a plate or something like a dish a small dish can press some of the liquid polish in there and Get it into the corners and polish your shoes nicely. So now I do not have any residue left. And I'm going to set this aside so it can dry. Okay. This is not foaming like the first time I did so still going to rub a little more final rubbing try not to get the liquid to foam I think we are doing better this time we don't have as much foam as we did when we went over the first time and on the edges of the shoe and just spread out the excess foam like I said so it doesn't leave a residue on I'm just going to leave a line so just smooth them out 
with the sponge and I believe I'm good to go now. I need to set this aside to dry and then when you are drying it please do not leave it in the sun um you can walk in the sun the sun can be high and it can be very hot and you can walk in the sun but um, i wouldn't advise you leave your leather shoes it might not nothing might happen to them but it's not um the best thing to do if you have to leave them in the sun maybe for any purpose just maybe just like two minutes or so and for a specific reason and then you take them off so when you use the liquid polish over the shoes just set them in an airy place and they dry pretty fast i'm sure in like five minutes they'll be dry i'm not sure how long i've been it has been since i did the black but the black i can see are nice and dry and you can also squeeze the end of the sponge so it goes into the corners and then the places the foam won't easily fit in. So I squeezed and I got some in there. So I'm going to use the brush to spread out. Okay. And like I said, they don't it doesn't dye the shoe, so you can just can just spread it over the black, it will just give it some more shine. And set two here we have it that's all so I still have some foaming on certain parts of the shoe I'm going to get those areas in here so sort of like bubbles and I'm trying to burst the bubbles so it doesn't leave a residue when it dries finally yeah so I feel like this first half is a little more shiny but I guess it's the same <laughs> otherwise I'm not going to stop doing this liquid polishing so here is what the black shoes look like after the liquid i set them after the liquid polish and i set them on the table so they will dry and i think it's pretty nice sorry i think it's pretty nice and shiny and I'll leave them to dry a little more. But I mean, if you have to go to work and you're running late, you can always just slip them on. You could actually slip the shoes on and then um, use the liquid over them. So by the time you get out of your car and then get to work, they'll be nice and dry. So that's also an option and a way to go about them. Um, here are the brown ones. They're also dry nicely. So I'll take a picture and show you. I'm going off now to work on the belt. So... I'll see you.